Hey everybody, whoo, I had a scare yesterday. Um, my uh, laptop uh, turned off, had power, and then I, it wouldn't turn back on. So, had to wait, wait until the wife got home, we shut out to Best Buy and figured it out. Um, I guess you gotta remove the, um, the battery and plug it in. Because he said something about the memory being in the battery. Just goes to show you how much I know about computers. But this is everything black based out. Um, I went through, looked for light colored areas in the cracks and nailed them again. Um, I'd say roughly, yeah, you're never going to get all of them. I mean, that's just, just a fact. But I mean, if you get like 98%, you're doing way better than normal people. Um, it's just good to have a critical eye and pick it up and really, the key is really looking at stuff. There's a lot of people that, there's a difference between looking and looking. And people who are modelers who have taught people who don't quite have the eye will know exactly what I'm talking about and people you know, who aren't modelers will figure it out because if you go to a modeler they'll show you you missed you miss this, missed that. It's, it's, it's very important to have a critical eye, um, especially with your own work because people get lazy. They look at it and they say, you know, it's good. You know, don't, don't even take your own word for it. Pick it up, turn it around, give it a critical look. Um, sorry I didn't put videos up, but you know, with everything going on, um, I, I, I wasn't sure if I was losing my laptop or what the deal was. So, look at this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Clean. So, clean the place up a little bit. Getting uh, Reading a book on self-improvement and I'm finding out all the things that are wrong with me. <laughs> Besides being a horrible planner. There's more that needs to be done, obviously, but anyhow, um, there's always room for improvement. Um, some people are self-help type, you know, people. Some people aren't. Um, I try to be. Um, you know, usually I'm reading a book about it or something along those lines. Um, oh, I read, I rolled yesterday because um, some of these things... Uh, require time like your how to's, um, the budget terrain, battle reports, and painting figures. Like most of these things actually require a roll ahead of time, so I thought I better do that. And the dreaded, ever, ever so dreaded, uh, which one is it? The painting one. Bill paints figures. Number seven came up. So I got out my old and I got so mad I got so very very mad because I sprayed it with my 99 cent uh, black spray paint that's supposed to be flat and they came up glossy I am so mad so I may go back and hand wash it or something I don't know what I'm gonna do but um, since everybody is a fantastic painter and come uh, speaking of fantastic painters um, uh, AG Productions, Christopher, has got a paint a mini in eight minutes flat. You've got to have either black based, white based, or gray based to start with. Um, go check out his latest vid. He's got all the rules covered. Um, but you have to have it done in eight minutes, and you've got to be able to put up stills. And if you don't know how to, um, and you can't get somebody to do it for you. He said that he he would do it for you But I mean he's saying he's working like 14 16 hour days, so I mean the the man is obviously killing himself So, you know try and take it easy on him if you can have your buddies put it up for you have them do it for you He's, he's just an incredibly nice guy. So have some fun um, It's a real opportunity for you uh, you painters out there to see how other painters work so get behind each other um, put your, you know, put your best hat on, put your best foot forward, and, and, uh, and go out and do that. Um, you know, you'll be glad you did. He's, he's just, just a hell of a nice guy and an incredible artist. Um, and, you know, 
there's so many good people out there, but I mean, don't let that, you know, just because we're surrounded by, in, in my opinion, a bunch of geniuses, don't, don't take it for granted that you're surrounded by a bunch of geniuses. Really take advantage of these guys. These guys want to share what they do. I'm uh, kind of showing off what I'm doing here. This may be turning into something one of these days. Uh, probably doubtfully. Um, I got a lot going on. But anyhow, I just wanted to, to give Christopher a shout out and let people know what's going on. Um, and uh, to uh, to take off and run with it. This, uh, this is going to be something I'm going to be asking... Uh, a client about with a job um, I got an idea for a, uh, a battle table and this could be in the jungles and I'm wondering if he wants like some old uh, like human style ruins in there so um, I'm gonna be shooting that his way that's the actual idea of the of the display board but um, so that covers it. I gotta be running out the door fairly soon. I'll be back later. Um, and uh, I'm trying to break the the wife into uh, painting. So you're gonna see real, real basic, real rudimentary painting on a very small scale. Um, I wanted to pick out something that that'd be easy for the wife, so I picked out a unicolor type uh, thing. All the demons I'm gonna do up in shades of red. And then it'll be just picking out uh, hair, weaponry, that type of stuff. So I wanted to, to pick something that, that would be real easy for the wife to do. So I apologize if it's not real spectacular. But um, I've always really loved these. These are Reaper style figures. Um, some of them actually have... Uh... Oh, that so makes me mad. Seeing that glistening like that. Some of them, they have a hole in the back that'll actually have wings. I gotta go and find the wings somewhere, or I'm gonna have to stuff that hole, one of the two. Um, and that's the nice thing about 50 millimeter scale. Uh, stuffing things like this, they'll, people will not notice it. Because usually, um, it's just big blocks of stuff. So people will be able to see like weapons and stuff like that, but as far as like conversions, it's not nearly as... Um, what sort I'm looking for. It's pretty impressive when, when people do conversions. When you do conversions with these guys, they won't stand out. And I think conversions are something that should really stand out. But anyhow, um, that's what's going on here. As you can see, I almost have workspace. Woohoo! So I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.